Hey folks, it's Bill Swift from Swift Canoe and Kayak. Today's one of our favorite days of the year. We're going to show you our 2022 collection of combi canoes. What is a combi canoe? Many of you may ask. A combi canoe to us is a beautiful performing tandem canoe. We've taken our four most popular models, the Prospector 15 and 16, and they keep waiting 16 and 17, and we put a center seat right in the balance position of the boat for solo paddling. Many of us for years have paddled a two-person canoe solo from a bow seat facing backwards, kneeling thwart maybe, where we're not real balanced. This gives you really good balance performance. And there's really neat features and options that we have on them so I'd like to show you those. Let's start with our popular Prospector 15, one of our best selling tandem models. This is a great boat for couples looking for a very compact boat, lightweight, easy to pick up, very easy to maneuver around tight corners. People love the feel of this particular boat in the water. It comes with the standard bow and stern seats, the same as in our Prospector 15 tandem canoe. And this one is a beautiful carbon fusion finish, and it's got the black carbon Kevlar trim on it with a clear coat on the outside. This is a really lightweight way to get a boat. It's got a beautiful technical look to it. Now the combi, has the center seat right at the balance point. This one's got a really cool feature I want to show you. You can order it with a detachable seat. We've got a really cool system our engineers develop with these pins and these magnets on the bottom. Works beautifully. So when I take this seat out, this is a Prospector 15 tandem. The difference is that it's got a detachable yoke, which is an option that you can order on it. Very easy to take on and off. Our engineers at the factory developed this super cool pen system. So very easy to take off. When you want to put it on, you just line the hole up on one side, line the hole up on the other side, put it right in. This can be ordered with cherry to match the seats on the inside. We have a new version in sassafras, which is a pound lighter than this, another very unique looking wood. Or you can order it in black carbon, which has a really cool look to it. The Prospector 15 has been designed by David Yost. And it's an absolutely beautiful shape. Very rounded in the chine area. It's got a lot of flare above the waterline, and then right up near the gunnels, he's tucked it in a little bit. And that comes in really handy when you're in the middle of the boat and you're canoeing. It makes it where you don't have to reach as far over the sides. Now, this boat is a really fun boat to paddle solo with a canoe paddle. And you can move right over to the sides you can put one or you can put both knees under very nicely with our beautiful curved seats that we use. And you can really get close to the water, leaning the gunnel over. You can lean this boat literally right up to the gunnel as your skill levels improve. So it's really fun and a lot of people use a modified sea stroke when they solo paddle with a canoe blade really graceful boat to solo paddle in. If you're looking for a day paddling boat, use around the cottage in an urban area, you're just taking it to a waterway, the Prospector 15 may be a great choice for you. It also is a really fun boat to use with a kayak paddle. Now, I love using a paddle that you can adjust the length with. Both Werner and Bending Branches, and I'm sure this other companies, have kayak paddles now that you can adjust the angle with and the length with, with one particular click. And Werner, which this paddle is, uses what's called a lever lock. What I like to do 
is adjust the paddle so that when I'm kayaking, the water will drip outside the gunnel of the boat so I stay a little bit drier. And this will sound a bit crazy to traditional kayakers. I like using a 260 to 280 in a tandem canoe because they're wider and you're up higher than you'd be in a kayak. Someone a bit shorter than me, I'm 6'3ish, may use a 240 to 260. This makes it so versatile. You can have different size people use the paddle or you can adopt it, as I told you, just so you can find in different conditions with the wind and so on, you may find you want it a different length. When you use a kayak paddle with these combi canoes, they just track beautifully. Really fun to paddle that way. And a lot of people that trip with their combi canoes will take both a canoe paddle and a kayak paddle on the trip. Prospector 15 combi, a great choice for someone looking for a compact, highly versatile boat. Here is our best-selling tandem canoe, the Prospector 16. This particular combi model is in Kevlar Fusion with the beautiful black and gold interior finish and the emerald green outside finish with the champagne two-tone bottom. This has our beautiful black and gold carbon Kevlar trim on it with the cherry interior. This boat is so versatile. This is a fantastic two-person canoe for tripping, for day paddling, bigger people, smaller people. And it's also a really good solo boat for average to bigger size people. For me, it's a really fun boat to paddle. I'm 6'3", 230 pounds. Now this particular one has the multi-height pod system, which is an option you can get. So this particular seat, just like the one I showed you on the 15, can pop out very easily and I can lower it down to a different position. Boom. Just like that. So you've got upper and lower solo positions. Great two-person paddling boat, but it's also a really good three-person boat. And some people like having, for the third person, the weight down low. Good grandparent boat for people that want to go for a ride. Now, when you take the seat out, like the Prospector 15, this is a really cool setup to take on a tandem canoe trip. This particular one has the detachable cherry yoke. Very easy to take out, just like we showed you on the 15. Let's go over the solo performance in a little bit more detail with you. Many of us have learned how to solo paddle in a tandem canoe. The Prospector 16 is an absolutely classic shape for that. Another David Yost design, beautifully rounded in the chine area, which makes it that as you roll the boat over, it's very consistently rounded and you have a very consistent feel to it. It's got a beautiful flare above that area. When it gets to its widest point, it has a little bit of tumble home near the top of the gunnel, which really makes it for a little bit narrower paddling position as you paddle. Like the Prospector 15, this is a beautiful boat to move over to the side a little bit, to paddle in the classic Canadian manner with a straight shaft canoe paddle where you can do a very graceful sea stroke. Now, this is a bigger boat. A smaller person on a really windy day, it's gonna be a bit too much boat for. Calm day though, Virtually anybody can paddle this solo. For a bigger person like myself, I've got the strength to power through wind and waves like this. I can take it out in all kinds of conditions. Many people have been getting these boats that want to also trip with a dog. What a lot of people do is they'll take one big pack, put a dry bag in the top of it, put the main part of their pack behind them and then keep the dry bag right in front of them. There's so many things that you can do with a combi canoe like this. Definitely, you want to get a real nice canoe paddle. 
And then let's show you also a really cool kayaking paddling position in this boat. This is a really cool option that you're going to want to consider getting. It's on our web store, swiftoutside.com. This is called the GCI Sitbacker Chair. It's got a metal frame to it, so it really holds its shape nicely. It's got a fair amount of padding to it. It's got a little bit of lumbar support in it. It's foldable, little pocket in the back. It's referred to as a stadium chair. It works great for paddling. Let's set it up for you and show you here. When I put this on, what I do is I center the seat first, then I'll clip underneath. They just work like backpack straps, very easy to clip in. Clinch it tightly. I like using the seat a lot in the lower position. I find it easiest to put on when it's in the upper position. So I'll just lower it right down here. When you put these seats on, always put the front pins in first and then lower the back magnets down. It gives it a really good position. Now it's got the strap in the back which you can adjust just on the side here. So you can adjust the tension on it. So it, it's very easy to get in the boat like this. You've got a little play to the seat, the cherry. I can pull this strap forward on the side over here if I want to tighten it up. I can loosen it a little bit. So this is a really cool position for many things. We call it the grandparent position. People that have back issues at all absolutely love this seat. And it's a great position to use with a kayak paddle. So I'm a little, down a little bit lower in the boat. I'm going to use that long kayak paddle again. I can adjust the length of it easily. The Prospector 16 just tracks so beautifully with the kayak paddle. Lots of room to put fish tackle box in front of me, a child, a grandchild or two. Very, very versatile and we all love paddling with dogs, don't we? This gives you the upper and lower seat positions, super comfortable. So the Prospector 16 is ideal for Folks that want a really good two-person tripping, day paddling boat, a lot of people that want to put bigger loads into the boat, longer trips love this shape. It just paddles beautifully through the water. But with this new combi setup, it also gives you the ability to have these great solo paddling positions or to take a third paddler along. Here is our third combi canoe today. This is a Kuwaitan 16 in Kevlar Fusion with the all ruby finish. It's got the black and gold carbon Kevlar trim on it with the all cherry interior. The Kuwaitan 16 is asymmetrical. The stern is a little bit straighter keeled in the back. There's a little bit more upwards curvature. It's called rocker in the bottom and the front. The bow is a little bit more maneuverable than the stern of the boat. It tracks beautifully, but when you have a bow paddler that can do a good draw prize stroke, you can really pull it around corners nicely. It's a little bit skinnier than the Prospector. It's got a little bit greater efficiency for those that really like to lean on their paddle some and really get some good momentum and good efficiency going. This particular one is the combi setup. And we wanted to show you, this has the detachable cherry yoke. This is the new lightweight sassafras yoke, which takes about a pound of weight out of the boat. It's a little bit different color than the rest of the wood in the boat, but you can see that it's got a beautiful grain to it. It is a little bit more flexible for the Cherry, but for our lightweight Kevlar and carbon boats, it's a great yoke to use for those that every pound counts. So saving a pound, go Sassafras. So the Kiwaden 16 is one of our most popular tandem tripping canoes. Beautiful setup for people tripping up to about a week or so at a time. The combi version with the center seat right in the middle of the boat is super, super cool. So like the other models, 
This one has a really neat detachable pin system which comes standard in the boat. The yoke is an option that you can order and you get the choice again of the cherry, the sassafras, or the carbon. Now this particular Keyweight in 16, this has the multi-height pod system. So the standard seat in the combi in the middle is a fixed seat. The detachable version you can order if you just want the upper height position or the multi-height pod system like this one you can order if you really want some more versatility. This is my favorite combi canoe to solo paddle and let me show you why. The Kiwaden shape again is asymmetrical so it's a bit sleeker in the front, a little bit fuller through the middle, straighter keeled in the back, a little bit more rocker in the front so it's more maneuverable in the front of the boat. When you solo paddle with a canoe blade, you can really adjust where the boat is going just by subtle movements of your paddle. And when you're in the asymmetrical boats that are more rocker forward, you do more of that in front of you where you can have greater effect on the control of the boat. So the Kiwaden does track a little bit better than the Prospector. It's a little narrower, a little bit less volume. I absolutely love the kayak position in this boat. So again, getting a paddle that you can adjust the length of. These boats, when you use a kayak paddle, the Kiwaden 16 and the Kiwaden 17, have greater efficiency. And because they're a little bit narrower, I don't have to put my paddle quite as wide. Now, just a word of caution. This is a really good tripping boat for someone average size or bigger. We did have a couple of smaller gales last year by the Kiwaden 16 Combi that wanted them as a tripping boat and a tandem boat. And a lighter weight person on a really windy day out tripping, this is gonna be both the Kiwaden 16 and the Prospector 16, there's going to be a lot of volume for that type of paddler. So make no mistake about this, guys. Our combi canoes are really versatile and they offer good solo performance. But if people are really looking to use a boat a lot for solo paddling, you definitely want to get a solo boat or a pack boat and a tandem canoe. Now, I think people should get a pack boat, a solo canoe, a tandem canoe, and a combi canoe. Have one of all of them. So many folks try to decide whether to get a Prospector 16 combi or a Kiwaden 16 combi. The Kiwaden 16 is a little bit less volume, a little bit better solo performance, I feel, for people that want to put an average amount of gear in, taking them on a trip, a dog, child with them, backpack. The Prospector 16 Solo is really good for bigger people, people that want to do a lot of fishing where the stability may be important, or people that really want to load them up with a ton of gear. We actually custom built one for a fellow this year that is gonna paddle the inside passage this summer from California up through Washington, the inner passage through Vancouver Island and paddle the boat right to Alaska. So he got a solo boat that he could put a ton of gear in and he's having a custom spray cover built for it. So we have a lot of different options with the combi boat. If you're not quite sure which one may suit your needs the best, call us. Here is a new combi canoe for us this year, the Kiwaden 17, which is a fantastic two-person day paddling tripping boat for those that really like to lean on their paddle, that really like to cover a lot of ground, see a lot of Algonquin Park or the Boundary Waters or Quetico. And it's also a really good small family boat. This particular one is set up exactly as I would order a combi boat. It starts with the Kevlar Fusion finish, and this is the new amber 
clear coat finish that we're doing that's absolutely really cool looking. So it's the black and gold fabric, both on the inside and the outside. It's got our black and gold carbon Kevlar trim. The all cherry interior. This particular version has an optional sliding seat in the front where smaller people can move the seat forward Use the front float tank as a foot brace. There's small locking knobs on the bottom. You can tighten it up to the position you want. Taller people like keeping the seat back a little bit more. <clears throat> this has an adjustable carbon foot bar for the solo paddling position that I'm going to show you in a little bit. It also has the multi-height pod seat system where you can raise and lower the seat easily that we were showing you. It's got a stern thwart on it. This baby is really set up for so many things. So let's show the different versions to you. Here is a great setup for tandem tripping. Put the detachable yoke on. So the yoke is above the height of the gunnels, but it's pretty cool when you're portaging, you actually have a little bit greater visibility as you're walking. Now, you can take the carbon foot bar out also. So a lot of people that have been ordering this canoe this year, tandem tripping is one of their big priorities. But they also want to have the ability to either put a third person in it or to solo paddle. So let's show that to you. There's a couple really neat paddling positions for solo with this particular boat. So it starts out with guys I love the carbon foot bar, which is really easy to adjust. And once you get it adjusted, you just keep it in that position that's for yourself. If you have different size people using it, you can move that around. But what that does is it gives you a real good bracing position. And when you paddle and you lean on your paddle a lot, you really you got a windy day, you've got to cross the lake, you actually transmit your power by pushing on your feet. So when you lean on the paddle, you really load the weight on your feet and you just leverage your body and your weight and you get way more efficiency paddling. If you paddle with a group sometimes and you find that other people are pulling away from you and you can't understand it, a lot is that people aren't loading their weight on their feet. They're just paddling a little bit loose with their body. You get so much more power when you really push on your feet. I like a position where I keep my knees bent quite a bit. I find that's more comfortable and I find I move my legs a little bit. You can order any of our combi canoes with the kayak foot braces right in the middle. The thing about them is your feet are always on the side of the boat, which is great if you may be buying the boat for fishing, where you're gonna be having a fish tackle box other things right in front of you quite a bit. But if you want the versatility to also put your feet in the middle, you really want to get the carbon foot bar. So many people will paddle this boat solo with a straight shaft canoe paddle. You can do the strokes I showed you with the prospectors where you do the C stroke. You can angle your paddle out in front of you to get the bow to move around quite a bit. Beautiful boat to solo. These key wadens with the asymmetrical hull shape are lovely to paddle. Now we also have a number of customers that will paddle our key wadens with bench shaft paddles, where when you paddle, you keep the blade more perpendicular to the water throughout the power phase of your stroke. A lot of people that use a bench shaft paddle will switch sides every five to eight strokes or so. You can also do some correctional strokes if you don't want to do that. So if you're looking for efficiency, a bent shaft canoe paddle works really nicely. Or the real baby to get with this is one of the longer adjustable kayak paddles. And again, the ability to adjust the length of it so that you can keep the water dripping outside the boat is a big plus. For me, again, the 260 to 280 paddle is the one to get. And with this, the carbon foot bar, 
I find that using a kayak paddle, I can really paddle this boat through pretty big wind and waves very comfortably. So I would much prefer to paddle a Cruiser 15.8 or Cruiser 16.8 if it was the boat I was going to get to solo all the time. But if I needed to buy one boat and I needed a lot of versatility with it, people my size, six feet and taller, should strongly consider the Key Waden 17 Combi. We wanted to show you in this video also a combi canoe with a carbon tech package. And this baby is a customer boat and it's got tons of options in it. So it's perfect to show you folks what's available. So this is an Expedition Kevlar Kiwaden 17 combi with the beautiful basalt and negra co-mingle fabric on the inside that has that beautiful earth tone look to it. It's got the black carbon Kevlar trim on it, and it also has the Kevlar skid plates, which we do a somewhat of a color match to that gives the boat a lot more banging power, let's say. Now, coming down the boat, this has our carbon bow sliding seat in it, which is a super cool feature of all our boats. We actually build carbon I-beams into a foam structure with each crossbar on this. This seat is infused as one structural part. It's got the same shape as our cherry seat. Really cool feature to have. This particular boat has the carbon seat in the middle that's detachable. And it also has the multi-height pods. Now Jacques, who ordered this boat, Got it with the kayak foot braces right in the middle. He's a big fisherman. This particular yoke is for a different boat, a Prospector 14, but he ordered his boat also with a carbon detachable yoke on it, which is a super cool structure. This is a hollow carbon part that's made much like a monocue bike frame, which is infused with one infusion. Then here's another thing that is super cool on this boat. Jacques is a big fisherman, so he wanted the fishing attachment points. So we put them on the stern thwart for him. So these are Scotty mounts, which is a universal mount you can use on a lot of different features. And then it's also got the carbon foot bar for the stern seat. The stern seat, the same shape as our cherry seat again, Beautiful structure, structurally very sound. So if you want a carbon tech package in a combi canoe, we have beautiful configurations available for you. Here is a super cool canoe that we can do the combi setup in. This is a Kiwaden 16 pack in Kevlar Fusion with a beautiful sapphire blue finish the black and gold carbon Kevlar trim, the cherry handles and yokes. Now what this boat has, it's got our deluxe pack boat kayak seats in it. These seats are so easy to use. You can click them in when you're not using them. When you put them up, you just filter it right in here and you pull this up. They've got adjustable lumbar support up and down in them. They've got very thick padding on the bottom. They are adjustable like this. Now, this is only available on the Kiwaden 16 as a tandem boat. But what's unique about this is we had three or four customers last year order it with the combi seat in the middle which you can get either the upper single height position or the multi-height position. So here is the pack boat. I'm gonna show you how comfy the seat is. I like the lumbar support up pretty high. So I'm gonna get in this boat. And I'm a little bit big for the bow of the Kiwaden 16, but I actually fit in it really nicely. I can brace my legs on the side gives me a little bit greater feeling of stability when I paddle. The seat right here though, 
It's got these straps that I can adjust. I can tighten them up if I want to. I can loosen them a little. And one of the keys to it is that when I paddle, the seat moves with me a little bit. A lot of people that have back issues that say they just can't get comfortable in the canoeing position, once they try these Kiwaden 16 pack seats, they absolutely love them. So this boat can be ordered where it would have the bow and stern seats with these beautiful comfort pack boat seats. And then the middle seat would have the canoe seat in it. You can get the GCI sit backer seat on that though to make it comfortable in the middle as well. We call this baby internally our limousine for comfort. You ride in style when you're riding in a Kiwaden 16 pack. We've gone through our four combi models, but we also want to show you this configuration on a Prospector 17, which can be ordered as a tandem canoe. This particular one is a used demo rental we've had at the store for a couple years. It's the Expedition Kevlar finish with the clear basalt and negra on the outside. It's got the black carbon trim on it with the carbon tech package, the two-tone bottom with the Kevlar bang plates on the end of it. This is a really nice setup. Now Serge ordered this as a tandem canoe and we modified his order to also have a bow slider so we built him a different boat. We get to use this one as our demo now. Now what he ordered it with, he wants to paddle some solo but also have a seat where his kids can sit in it. So this is what we call a solo detachable seat. So like the combi seat, this has the pin system on this, and this can be taken out for the times that someone wants a tandem canoe just for tandem use. And then if you want to be able to have it where a third passenger can ride in it, or for solo paddling, this is a really cool option to consider. So if I was tripping with three people in this boat, I'd put the packs all the weight in this particular compartment. And then this particular boat also has the carbon foot bar in the back of it. Now this configuration is available on any of our models. So those folks considering getting a combi canoe, some of them consider this setup as well. Here's that Prospector 17 turned over. This has been used on at least half a dozen trips, and we wanted to show you what a boat looks like that runs over rocks, runs over logs. Our boats have been designed for Canadian Shield Country, designed for a rental operation. You're gonna hit things. Many people consider the two-tone color on the bottom is it hides the scratches, so to speak, quite a bit. If you scratch the side of this boat now, you're gonna really see the scratches a lot more. So if we go down this boat, you can see it's really been used quite a bit. Now, all of our boats are very elastic. They've got absorption for the tremendous impacts. So. They're not designed for white water. They're not designed for boom, 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 to be continuously running over rocks. But with normal weights in the boats, running over rocks and logs, it's gonna happen. They'll absorb a lot of the energy. You'll get a lot of marks on them. So our boats are beautiful. A lot of people look at them and say, oh boy, I don't know if I wanna put that in the water but we love to see them in the water and we want you to love your boat in the water and all these marks on the boat, they're character marks, they're love marks. So the more you use your combi canoe, the more marks you put on it, the better life the boat and you're gonna live. Cheers.